What? O-M-G. I didn't see that one coming. Man, Fatima not the only one that wants Zach. Wow. <laughs> Let's get into this. Now, here you have uh, Fatima and Angela talking about what happened, what they saw with, you know, our boy Zach with Deja doing, getting that lap dance, and she is teed off, and she's ready to pack her bags and stay at Angela's for the night, and, you know, Angela's like, shit, you know, what's she going to do? So, of course, you know, she gets on her phone and calls her boy up and say, look, you know, you with Zach, you, you know, there's issues, Fatima's looking, you know, to stay at my house. So, um, <clears throat> just giving you a heads up on that and get him, you know, just take your time, go slow. Cause we want to be out by the time y'all get back. So, you know, um, Bryce thought that Zach was asleep, but he heard everything and he was like, why slow up? And he was like, no, don't slow up. It's good. She going to stay by Angela's, you know, this is messed up. I guess he's drunk, but he ain't that drunk. And I hear you. Cause back in the day when I was drinking, I was still alert to some things. So, yeah, Zach was like, let her go ahead. Do what she got to do. You know, he's fed up. So, they come up out the house. Fatima and <clears throat> Angela about to leave. And, well, um, he wasn't going slow enough, Bryce, because they ran into each other. And Zach is hurt. Shout out to my boy, Deval Ellis, because he played the heck out of this part. I felt the pain. I saw it in his eyes. His mannerism, he played drunk real good. I don't know if he flashed back to back in the days, but he was really hitting it. He was hurt with Fatima, digging up the situation with Ann. She was hurt saying, you know what you did? Look at this. And she pulls up the phone with him and Deja. And he like, but you ain't saying nothing but a word. You got a picture? I got a picture too. Look, now mind you, Fatima didn't know about that. She didn't know about him having a picture of her with Ann in the shop. So, in the coffee shop. So, yeah, she said, yeah, I did. I met with him. You know, it wasn't nothing to it. You know, he, he wanted to talk to me about the fact he had cancer. And it's not what you think. You know, I should have said something, but, you know, she didn't. So, she was like, it is what it is. He was like, yeah, okay, everybody got cancer. Like, you know, you really believe this? You know, he told you he got cancer. Okay, whatever. So, they hurt back and forth. She was like, you know, I mean... Uh, Zach was like, look, <clears throat> you did this, you know, you, I asked you, I asked you and it was true. I asked you to, um, to tell me the truth. You had the opportunity and you didn't tell me, which he did when she was in the bathroom. So he was like, and you going to leave with my car? She was like, you think I can't get another, two more of these with a phone call? You know who her, who her uh, cousin is. So we know Fatima and he was so angry and was like, well, go, go in the hurt. And pain of that situation really disgusted Zach. I mean, you could see it all over his face. It was so heartbreaking just to see them two at it like that and knowing they both love each other. You know, this was really a heartfelt scene, but you could see the pain between the two. So <clears throat> Fatima was like, okay, you go ahead with your business. And <clears throat> she's going to cool off, which was good. This was a night that they both needed to think, take it down, talk to reasonable people. Um, and have friends in your corner that can keep it, you know, unbiased, but really see both sides. So they both had that for the night. So <clears throat> they left and Fatima sitting down talking to Zach and she told Angela, you know, he really <clears throat> didn't do anything because <clears throat> he was telling her, you know, it's glitter. She said, you got glitter all in your pants. He was like, Fatima, it's glitter. The girl gave him a lap dance, you know. So Angela whole thing is, yeah, he didn't do anything, but if Bryce didn't get him, what he had? And that's a good question because I don't know how far it would have went. Belinda would have had some more evidence to show, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, I'm glad Bryce got him when he did because it, it could have got more out of hand. But, you know, <clears throat> she was just saying, yeah, but, you know, the situation with Ian, that could have been handled better. You know, you should have said something. And, um, you know, just you got to think, do you really think that Zach would do something like that to you, even though the situation looked bad? But had she had told Zach and talked to him, explained the situation, because he was adamantly not going to that party. He was about to fight um, Nathan over not wanting to go. This could have all been water under the bridge. You wouldn't have been having this conversation right now, Fatima. So think about that. So she went upstairs with her wine 
and Angela like, ooh, this is a doozy. Now, the scene of all scenes. Zach is up there uh, still drinking. He need to put it down, but Bryce brings him home, and he's a little drunk. They talking, you know, he crying on his shoulder, basically upset. Zach, like, you know, you really need to lay down, um, go to, go upstairs, go to bed, I'm go home. And Zach could barely talk. So you see Bryce here has to walk him, up, take him upstairs. And this is where you get to see the discomfort. This is where you get to really see how Bryce feels. Now, for any of you, and put on the, in the comments, because I said it during sisters do you remember jake now i think tyler is taking jake's character on sisters and turns him into bryce because i swear i told y'all that i think that jake liked zach because he would always run quick to his defense and i thought something was there what they did was they changed brought that character to um sisters i mean to zatima from sisters and made it bryce with a whole you know different nationality and a different person because he was helping him with the SEC too, remember? So now we see that when Zach said that, you know, I should marry you um, and take, you know, your brain the way you think and put it in Fatima's body, I have a better person. And I don't know, Bryce must have took that to another level. But as uh, Zach was getting undressed, Bryce is like, you know, I'm getting uncomfortable. Like he rubbing all on his chest looking at him you know he gets naked like many men do in locker rooms Zach not thinking none of it this is a guy guys you know play footballs we change in front of each other all the time it doesn't have to be in that manner but not knowing Bryce's feelings for Zach it came out like he even asked him when he went in the shower he stripped down in front of him you want me to come in there with you you need help he was so fidgety he was so nervous and I'm like Bryce like first of all you better not go in that bathroom because you got a rude awakening but we get to see now what the feelings is between Bryce. It's more than just a friendship for Zach. Um, <clears throat> it, it, he likes Zach. And now this may very well ruin their friendship. And I want to know, is Bryce going to be honest? Is he going to come on to Zach again in the future? What the deal is. But this was the, the shock of the night knowing why he wants to go into business with Zach, always wants to be around with Zach, always coming to his beck and call because he has feelings for him. Wow. Now he comes home, you know, all over Angela, you know, wanting to get hot and bothered. And she noticed his little eggplant is hard, you know, uh, hoping it's for her. But she's, you know, thinking it's probably because he was with them women at the strip club. She's like, what is up? And he wants her, but he's thinking about old boy. So, She's all happy because, of course, what woman wouldn't want to be desired by her man? But little do you know, he's desiring someone else. And it's your girlfriend's man. It's This is like crazy. Put in the comments, did anybody suspect this about Bryce? Did you suspect that about Jake? Like, I, And do you think that these, you know, this is a character transformed from, you know, sisters to Fatima, but it's basically the same character? I, I think so. Tyler just changed names and ethnicity. Now, um, Angela all hot and bothered and they get busy, you know, doing things in the kitchen. And now the next morning, Bryce comes over to uh, Zach, you know, tells him he has his key from the day before. And of course, I'm sure he was dreaming about our boy, gave him um, the paperwork that was left at the door. And it was basically Deja's contract. Um, for the apartment she signed, uh, Val, the realtor, handled it. And he's like, damn, you know, how am I going to handle this situation? She can't move in here. Fatima is going to have a fit. Now, at this point, you know, Zach has rested. He's called Fatima. He's left her a voicemail. You know, he's really sorting this all out. He knows what was wrong, what happened. But he also knows it's a bad call. Now, Bryce is, he, Bryce is like, basically, you need to just tell Fatima what you're telling me. You didn't know she was a stripper. This 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 happened with her renting her apartment before last night's incident. You know, it, it really was. So, of course, now Bryce is like probably thinking like enough of Fatima, enough of this drama. I want to hang with you and get some alone time. Come with me. Let's get these keys to this new uh, office space. And, you know, the back of his mind, come on, let's go. I want to spend some time with you. 
Um, Zach like, no, no, I can't. I got things to do. I'm still feeling kind of my head. You know, he, he's still not feeling well. So Bryce was like, okay, deuces, see you later. Now he gets on the phone with um, Val to talk about the situation, wanted to end the contract that she can't move in. And Val is like, what? He said she can't. He was like, well, we can't end this. You said she can rent the apartment. He was like, but no, now he changed his mind. She was like, well, you can be sued. He was like, what? Yeah, you can be sued because she told me she saw you um, at the strip club, you know, dancing. So now it's going to look like discrimination. It's going to look like you discriminating against her because of her profession. And that can get, you know, pretty sticky um, in court. So I don't think that's a good idea. So now he's like, oh, my God, damn. Now I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. How am I going to explain this to Fatima? Whew. Now Fatima is over getting ready, uh, getting situated. It's the next morning. She, Angela's talking to her um, about some concern with Bryce. You know, Fatima, no, you know, he wanted you. Your man was hot and bothered last night. I heard y'all in the kitchen. But Angela's whole thing is, yeah, but he was hard when he came in. And he's never been that way. She was like, well, he probably, you know, he wanted you. He took you or whatever. And she said, no, I think he saw them women at the strip club. And it got him excited. And he came to me. Now, if that was Zach, you probably think the same way. So... Fatima was like, mm, yeah, you, you kind of got a point there. Now, um, thinking about that, you are on the right track, um, uh, Angela, but it's not the strippers. Um, it's not the strippers. And the thing is, they don't know that Bryce went in the house and got Zach undressed and, you know, ready for the shower and bed and stuff before he left. I guess they think that he just dropped him off and came on home. And the strippers were still, no, 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 no. You don't know what happened in between. But you can best believe it's going to um, come to light. So Fatima was thinking on that one. And in the meantime, she goes to get ready, I guess, get her stuff so she can go home. Um, get ready to move her stuff before work out of the apartment with Zach. And here is, she comes down. This is Belinda. Belinda has no humility, no, no qualms or nothing with her because she's still talking smack you know this nigga ain't shit but heifer you timed me at the beauty salon so you can come and sleep with my man you never told me about the initial plan to try to set him up so now that you busted stop acting like you have my best interest at heart you still popping off fatima should have just decked her one and left it as that but she said if you don't get out of my face you gonna wish you did basically and she knows fatima so she better back the hell off and you know, Belinda's all like with Angela. Angela, like, see, it's always messed with you. She's like, why didn't you tell me that she was here? Damn. Now she feeling some kind of way. You're not a friend. You're not a friend. And if I was Fatima, I'd never deal with you a day in my life ever again. Now, oh, Zach, he hears the doorbell. He goes to the door. And Shady Grady is at the door. Zach's brother. Um, I never saw Zach not only seemed upset, like he didn't want to be bothered with this brother, but I also saw a level of nervousness and fear with Zach. Put in the comments if anybody else saw that. Him and his brother, I know, I could tell from the episode that there was some, it's some bad blood. We already know that. Even with the mom, he has a bad history. He's mentioned in the past with his family. Now he's on the come up. The brother found out from the mom that he's there. Now, I found out in this episode that Zach had did three years before and the brother did 10. Now, I don't know drugs, robbery. I don't know what they did. I don't know if, you know, Zach uh, set up the brother in the past or the brother got more time and he got less. You know, he don't know. But, you know, something in what he said, you know, I did 10, you did three. You basically owe me. And he wanted $10,000. He was like, Zach, no, it's all about the money for you and mom. Y'all don't care about me. When I was out in these streets suffering, neither one of y'all probably, you know, looked out for me. But now I'm on the come up. Here you go. And it's always like that. You probably got to go and leave the country because you get everybody out the woodwork when you start doing good. So he's looking around like, yeah. And if Zach thinks that that check that he wrote him to get him out the way is going to be the last time he hear from his brother and the last check, he's badly mistaken. So he's like, what do you want? He was like 10000 He wrote him the check. He was like, here, be gone. I don't want nothing to do with you. Here's the check. 
you know, in the back of the brother mind, he's like, there is more where that came from. If he can easily write me 10,000, he give me 10,000 more, 10,000 more. This is going to be like paying alimony soon. So here he go. And I'm like, Zach, you should have kept him from out of your place because this is you and Fatima's apartment. He all upstairs wanting to see the place fishing around. I think he should have just left out the door after he got that check. So Fatima's in the car now on her way home and put in the comments what do you think about this brother and what you think is going to happen in the future with this um is it going to be a constant shakedown i think so so now fatima's in the car ian's mother called you know you know you heard about ian she was like yes she was like you know you've been always my favorite i always loved you you know he's really sick but i heard you know you got somebody now but you know come see me i want to see you can you come by for dinner I'm like, I understand this was a lady that you was cool with. This is your ex's mom. But this is a sticky situation for Tima that you need to just be done with. The dinner and all that is really unnecessary. But please do not wait to let uh, Zach know this situation like you waited to tell him about Ian and the cancer. Now, um, here we got Deja moving in with her pom pom shorts on. And I said, oh boy, she runs into Fatima. Hey, neighbor. With her hand out. Fatima not with it. Like, this chick looks familiar. So she's talking about, you know, yeah, I'm moving in, blah, 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 blah. So she's like, wait a minute. Um, so she's thinking and she shows, um, you know, she tells her, you know, um, yeah, well, uh, no. I've, I've, they had a conversation and she basically wasn't feeling her. And she said, oh, I see who you are. You know, she's looking, she... I guess realizes this may be Zach's girl, but now she's putting two and two together. And Fatima realizes that this is the chick that was dancing with my man last night. So we about to see what's going to happen in the next episode. And this is. One so next episode, what's going to be the situation with Bryce and Zach? Will Bryce keep quiet? Will he let him know that he's, um, into Zach? Will he let him know that he's interested? Will he try to make a pass? Will he be discovered and mess up in some type of way where he gets caught by Angela? Let's think about it. Um, he may be busted looking at gay porn one night because Angela is already suspect on why he was the way he was in the pants when they hooked up. So I don't know what you think. Put in the chat until next time. Peace and love. Be authentically you and live the life you deserve. Peace.